Back in a while, guys. Garfield, don't eat all the ribs while I'm away. Don't eat all the ribs while I'm away. <laughs> Did he really think I'd eat all the ribs while he was away? <sighs> what should I do now? I think I'll eat all the ribs while he's away. Mmm, <laughs> good. Oh, it's you. You hungry, Puppo? Yeah. Fine. I'll give you the part I can't eat. That's the best thing about dogs. They're happy with stuff that no one else would want to eat. Oh. A bone. A juicy, delicious bone. Hey, Ori, look at that mockingbird. He's mocking you. Huh? Another bone? How could you have finished the first one? No, I'm not giving you another bone. If you want a bone, Go dig up one of yours that you've buried out in the garden over the years. Best part of eating ribs? Mm, licking your paws. <coughs> so you found a big bone. Big deal, don't bother me. So it's the biggest bone you ever saw? Don't, I repeat, bother me. Oh, all right, all right, I'll look at it. Oh, if it only had meat on it. Buddy, you know what this is? But not just any big bone. Come on. That's a dinosaur bone. Those are worth a lot of money. This is the website for the town's natural history museum. Watch. Here at the museum, we are especially proud of our dinosaur skeletons. Recently, we located this one. It's a Tyrannosaurus rex from the Cretaceous period. This skeleton is valued at more than a quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a million dollars? Hootie, I'm rich. Do you know how much lasagna you can buy for a quarter of a million dollars? Enough to feed me. Wow. I'm gonna take that bone down to the museum and find that lady. You go dig up the rest of the skeleton. We found this skeleton in someone's backyard on the west side of town. We had to get a court order to have the people who live there evicted and their home torn down, but we did it all in the name of science. Odie. Get back to work. Have that skeleton dug up by the time I get back. Barontosaurus, also known as Apatosaurus, lived 150 million years ago and weighed a minimum of 23 metric tons. 23 metric tons? That's more than I weigh after a good Italian dinner. 
Okay, I gotta find that lady who'll pay me a fortune for the bones that he's digging up. Ooh. Hey, cat, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, and first, you put that bone down. That's museum property. Oh, no, 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 no. I brought this bone with me. It's gonna make me rich. Oh no, I'm trapped. There's no way out of here. Okay, I've got him quartered in the Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit. He can't possibly get away. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now an exhibit. The first security guard to be swallowed by a Tyrannosaurus. Ah! ah help! Ah! Myron, a cat stole a bone and is heading down Corridor 11 with it. Where's that lady who pays the big bucks for dino bones? Sorry, cat. Our dinosaur bones are not to-go orders. But I brought this one with me. Odie found it in the garden. Hey, uh, I recognize you. You live with that Arbuckle guy on my block. What seems to be the trouble, Myron? No trouble, Mrs. Brewbaker. This cat tried to steal this dinosaur bone. I don't recognize this bone from any of our exhibits. It's... it's from a Brachiosaurus. A Brachiosaurus? This is one of the rarest dinosaurs in the world. We don't have one in our collection. Cat, did you find this where you live? I'll take the money in small bills, uh, mostly hundreds. We must have an immediate excavation to find every possible bone on the property. We'll get a court order to tear down any buildings or dwellings. Tear down? You mean, you just tear down this Arbuckle guy's home? Science is more important than anyone's individual life. Our house? I won't let you. The cat's getting away. Levin, you seem to know where the property is. Let's go. Myron? Myron, can you hear me? Somebody come and get me out of this. Somebody? Anybody? I have to get rid of those bones or they'll tear down our house. You dug up an entire dinosaur. Uh -huh. You did as I asked, boy, and that's great. There's just one more thing I want you to do for me. <sighs> Bury them all again. No! No, there's no time. This is awful. I should have given you that second rib bone you asked for instead of sending you out to dig here. <laughs> what do you mean you never got to even enjoy the first one? I gave it to you. What? Hercules stole it? That little sawed off chihuahua down the block? Uh -huh. This could work out just fine. Oh, yes. Hey, what's haps there, Hercules? Did you come to take the bone back? I'm not giving it to you. I stole it fair and squares. Oh, no, you can keep it. Audie doesn't bother with those tiny bones anymore. This is not a tiny bone. It is a good-sized bone. Oh, you think so, huh? Come on. Take a look at the kind of bone Odie's been digging up at our place. Oh! <laughs> you can keep any of those tiny bones you come across. Who needs them? Well, I have to take Odie for a walk, so I hope nobody steals his new bones while we're gone. <gasps> can it be? It's true. It's true. 
the largest, most beautiful bones I've ever seen. I don't care how many trips I have to make, these bones will be all mine. Hold on, hold on. I just got home this minute. What is it you want to do? It's what we are going to do. We're having your home declared a site of vital scientific interest. We're going to tear down the whole house and dig for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? There are no dinosaur bones here. There are. Your cat had one. Want to see where the dinosaur bones are? You want us to follow you, cat? <laughs> there are your dino bones, lady. My word! Those are Brachiosaurus bones. Forget about Mr. Arbuckle's property. Let's tear this house down and dig. I don't know how you do it, Garfield. I don't know how I do it either. Come on, boy. Let's get home and see if there are any ribs left. You can have the bone, and I'll take all the meat stuff they stick on the outside. <laughs> 